guys, so today we're going to make a salad that has couscous, it has garbanzo beans, and it has some sweet potatoes. It has a couple of spices that I have just gotten familiar with, just been introduced to really recently, but this is really delicious. Now, it has a few more than my normal five ingredient meal, but it is really worth the extra effort and I think you're gonna like it. So let me just show you real quickly what's in it. I wanna start with the couscous because I actually had to order this online. This couscous has seven grams of fiber and that's a huge thumbs up. If you'll look at just normal couscous in the grocery store, you're gonna find that it may have one and that's not gonna be a whole grain. So look for a whole grain couscous and you may have to order it online to get a really quality product. So um, we're gonna use Kalamata olives in it. We have these spices. One is called Zatar, and then this is called Berry Berry. So guys, I'm probably not even pronouncing those. So we will definitely put a recipe on hellohealthyhabits.com and you can kind of make sure that you're getting them. I got these at Kroger and they're, they were pretty easy to find. So this, it's just some dried mint and it's optional, but I had it on hand and so it's in the recipe and so I was like, yay, I've got that. It has a can of garbanzo beans. It has some dates and I got these at Costco. Um, they're delicious for a lot of things, but this is one of them. And then some of the fresh ingredients, I'll run over here real quick. We got a little bit of cilantro that we'll have on top, lemon, shallot, which I don't use these all the time, but they are there in the grocery store. It's kind of like a miniature onion sort of, but anyway, it's called a shallot. You probably already know that, but it was a little bit new to me, okay? And then sweet potatoes, and I've already just cut these into cubes, small cubes. Then we've got radishes, and I have these in my salad bar already cut up, so we're just gonna use what I already had. And then on top, a little bit of green onion, and I already had these in my salad bar in the fridge too. So uh, those were ready to go. Last but not least, some pine nuts. We're gonna toast these just lightly and we will use a little bit of olive oil in the dressing and voila. So I'm going to just finish prepping this and then I'll show you how easy it is to put it together. I think you're gonna like it. So um, in that little brief pause there, I went ahead and put these in the oven. They need a little bit longer, but let me just tell you how easy this was. I drained the garbanzo beans, and I already had these cut up. Used a little bit of avocado oil. This is an unrefined avocado oil that takes a little bit better heat when you're cooking with oil, which we don't do real often, but in this case, we needed a little bit. So put a little bit on the pan and then just put these kind of in a single layer. I just sprinkled on the seasoning on top there, and again, we'll have this on the recipe at hellohealthyhabits.com. So I just wanted to kind of let you know what I've done, and we're gonna put this together in just a few minutes, but I also wanted to mention that I zested the lemon. Now, okay, those of you who have been cooking a long time, that's just something you do in your sleep probably. I have been zesting, or at least reading, that I need to zest lemons and oranges and different things. And it has always been such a chore. And I just wanted to mention when I finally broke down and spent like between six and $10 for this little beauty, it is sharp and it does the trick and it makes it easy. You do kind of have to watch your knuckles because you don't want to get too close to it. It is sharp, but it does the trick. So I have zested a whole lemon. So that's right there in the what's going to be the dressing. So so I am going to cut the lemon, add it to the dressing, the shallot goes in the dressing, and this seasoning, zatar seasoning will go in the dressing. I'll just go ahead and add those in. I'm also going to add a little bit of olive oil in there, and um, as I mentioned, the lemon will stir it up. To all of this, you can add unrefined salt to your personal taste. I like to just let you choose because some people are not doing salt at all. Some, you know, enjoy it, and as long as it's an unrefined salt, we do add some, but um, you can do that at the end. Just do it to taste. Just, I did just loosely chop, lightly chop the Kalamata, Kalamata olives. That's a mouthful. And then the dates I also took and chopped the dates. I used about six of them. There'll be three in each of the two salads. I'm making two salads and there'll be three uh, in each of the salads. So we'll put this together in just a second. I'll be right back. So we have done the prepping. We've done the cooking. I cooked the couscous 
just according to the package directions. So it takes just a, a tiny bit longer to cook because it's whole grain, but it's still very fast. Within probably about 15 minutes, the couscous is done. I just kind of set it aside until we were ready for it, but then I added it to our bowl. I have also added the sweet potatoes and the garbanzo beans that were in the oven baking with that seasoning on them. So I have added them to our bowl. I also added the Kalamata olives and the dates. So those are already added. Now I am going to add our radishes. And I don't think you can get too many radishes. I happen to love them, but I think the recipe calls for four to six of them. Again, we'll have the recipe at hellohealthyhabits.com. And then we're going to add the dressing. I've added olive oil. It had the whole lemon squeezed in here, the zest of a whole lemon, the shallot, and then that seasoning as well. So I will pour it into the bowl. And then, excuse me, trying to cook quietly, it just doesn't work all the time. And then we're just gonna stir that up. Does that look delicious or what? Mmm, it is so good. So now I am just going to plate that or put it in the bowl. This could serve as many as four, but you know, if it's the only thing you're having, then I can eat and Paul and I could split that by ourselves, but it could easily be for four if you were adding a side with it as well. And then we're just going to sprinkle on the rest, a little bit of green onion, a little bit of cilantro, some pine nuts, yum, that we toasted a little earlier, and then just a little bit of mint. Guys, that's ready to go, and it's worth the effort. It's yummy, it's delicious, got lots of good fiber, lots of good nutrients, and I think you're going to like it. I hope you do. I'd love to hear from you and know what you think. All right, that's it for the day. God bless you. Bye.